Après trois jours passés à Amsterdam, au petit matin, je quitte Johanna et Paola qui m'ont accueilli et c'est l'heure pour moi de débuter ce tour d'Europe avec Archie, mon vélo pliant Brompton. Aujourd'hui, je me rends dans un petit village vers le nord à 75 km d'Amsterdam pour découvrir le projet de Youth qui vit en mini-maison et qui a acheté un terrain pour développer un village de 11 tiny houses. Après avoir passé de nombreux mois à planifier ce voyage à vélo, rechercher des initiatives positives, contacter les gens sur place, préparer les affaires, sous-louer l'appartement, cocher chaque étape de chaque petite chose à ne pas oublier, et bien après tout ça, le moment où on s'élance sur la route en donnant les premiers coups de pédale, sans plus avoir ces choses en tête, est un moment unique. Un moment qui rafraîchit, où l'énergie est au maximum et où on sent plus que tout qu'on fait vraiment partie du paysage qui défile devant nous. Salut les amis, bon matin, j'ai déjà fait 12 km dis donc, j'ai bien contourné Amsterdam, euh, bah, que de la piste évidemment, donc là 13 km déjà, et euh, là je suis au milieu des pistes cyclables, je suis comme en campagne, fait que là maintenant c'est, euh... on est dans l'arrière pays là déjà, là on est derrière Amsterdam, fait que là je pense qu'il fait environ 25, puis ça monte graduellement, mais au moins c'est bien, c'est pas des, comme à Toronto là où c'est des, 30 degrés direct avec un taux d'humidité de ouf dès 7h du mat. Là c'est comme si on est dans les vins et on monte. C'est ce que je viens de dire. Hein. Toutes les mouches se collent à ma crème solaire. C'est dégueulasse. Hein. Bon, on n'a rien perdu en route. Tout, tout tient bien. Hein. C'est un peu lourd. Mais euh, ça se pédale quand même. J'ai acheté un GPS et... Euh, j'ai pas pu télécharger certaines cartes, donc là j'ai une application. Et ça va à date, c'est cool. Donc euh, ça fait la job en attendant que j'arrive à mettre les cartes sur le GPS. Amsterdam, là, on a la paix. It's quiet. Yeah, I'm bilingual. Non, nope. pas du tout. C'est deux mots en anglais. Ensuite, euh, speak French and euh, speak Spanish. Et ensuite, euh, portugais. Alors là, on va rigoler. Hein, parce que l'anglais, encore ça va, mais alors euh, l'espagnol et le portugais. Euh, parce que à part hola et adios, je sais même pas, je sais même pas dire bonjour en portugais. Ah, si obrigado, mais ça, je sais pas, ça, ça veut dire bonjour ou au revoir. On tient pas une conversation, on ne tient pas une interview avec ça. On ne tient pas une interview inspirante. Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. Aïe, 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 je suis au max, là. Je donne tout, là, les amis. J'ai l'impression que je, je pédale à deux à l'heure. On dirait que je peux pas parler et pédaler en même temps, c'est compliqué. Oh, ça suffit les conneries. Bonjour la vache. Oh, my God. 
c'est la fête ici. Wow, c'est beau là. C'est rue là. Oh là là. On ferait pas une petite pause ici sur ce banc Moi je dis que oui. La Tzedassol. C'est chouchou. Oh, regardez comment c'est beau, il y a plein de voiliers. Tomates cerises. Trop cool. Regardez les amis. Et les petites tomates cerises. <rire> C'est génial. Hein Petit truc comme ça au bord de la route là. Il y a des tomates, il y a des courgettes, il y a des comme des potirons, des oignons. C'est trop bien. Regardez comme c'est mignon. Et voilà. Je prends un peu la confiance. D'accord. Et là, il y a un banc. Il m'attend. That's it. That's it. That's all. On fait les étirements. Les étirements, ouf, j'ai mal au cul. Je pense que j'ai mal mis ma selle et du coup, ça me donne mal au cou aussi. Donc, là, c'est une petite traverse vélo. Si Google Maps me dit une connerie, je le tape. Je sais pas si je suis au bon endroit. Hey, uh, hey how are you? Very well. Just? I'm Yost. Aurélie. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. This is your. Uh... Yeah, the setup, the loaded setup. Oh, wow. <laughs> But it's good. It, it's 75 uh, kilometers today. I'm currently cooking and uh, okay. I'm helping in the house. Perfect. Oh, I, 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 uh, it's, it's wonderful. The you know the little market on the on the way. Like uh, you you can put the, your money and take what you want. Right. So it's little tomato if you want. Oh, the size. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah. So much. Yeah, no problem. Coming from the market then. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, people uh, awesome. who have. Uh, Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> you might use it in the food tonight. Perfect, so. perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, okay. Take yourself at home and uh, whenever you like shower. It's Thank you so much. In fact, maybe uh, we'll have meals. Perfect. <laughs> Just a vécu pendant trois ans dans cette tiny house posée sur la ferme familiale. Il est en train de la rénover. Il y vit plus actuellement, mais il vit dans une autre mini maison dans le village d'à côté. Contacter Youst via la communauté cycliste. C'était une rencontre non planifiée à l'avance et quand il m'a dit qu'il avait acheté un terrain pour développer un village de 11 tiny house, je lui ai proposé de l'interviewer. Je 
It was three and a half years ago when I came back from a travel. I walked to uh, Santiago de Compostela in Spain. So it's uh, called the Camino. And um, I figured um, on my way, um, I experienced that I don't need so much. Like I only had my tent with me and, um, and a backpack. And uh, the more I walked, the more kilos I lost uh, in my backpack. So I started with, I think 20 kilos and I ended up with 15. And yeah, I literally experienced like the less uh, ballast, I don't know, like carry it you have, uh, the freer you are. And that's where I decided like, however I'm gonna live when I get back, uh, it's gonna have some minimalistic aspect in it. So this was a, a daycare. Uh, it used to run in the city. Uh, so it was, I think 15 years ago, where in the Netherlands, there was a problem of uh, too little space in the city. They gave subsidiaries for a daycare if it was movable. So um, they towed this into the city from, uh, from the outskirts and kids would play for two hours and then they could drive it away again. So that was a very efficient way. Uh, instead of taking up a whole uh, building, they could just take it out of the city again. But it only worked for, I think, a few, uh, few years and then the subsidiary went and uh, yeah, the whole business went bankrupt. Uh, so this one was put on a marketplace online, I think uh, four years ago now, three and a half years ago. And um, when I saw it, uh, the guy said, you have to pick it up this weekend. And, oh my um, God, okay. So it had to be a quick, quick decision. Like, do I want this? Do I want to live in a tiny house? And yeah, I made my last, but my God told me I need to do this. I found a very nice plot of land. It's a forest and uh, that's very rare in this area. The, everything's flat. Uh, and suddenly there's a forest that went for sale. So that was very nice. And uh, we're currently applying for a permit for 11 tiny houses and two uh, um, buildings for uh, shared use. during corona times where um, yeah people would all sit inside and they were like oh yeah it's a lockdown so we can't go anywhere but I just figured like if we keep continuing like this at some point um, we'll forget how normal it is to just hug each other and to be like close to each other so I need to get people out of there and uh, I started a few small gardens in, uh, in a few villages here to, uh, to get people out and to grow their own food and um, to, to build something again because I just saw that it was lacking people to, to start um, to start going out again and once they well once I tried getting people out there again uh, growing their own food uh, it appeared that people liked it and they asked me for the municipality to uh, to help with uh, sustaining these um, initiatives for people. reason we can build a tiny home community here is because we obey to that uh, um, uh, to the exploitation of nature so we keep the trees that are already here and um, we build the houses around it so nature comes first and then uh, we'll find a place to uh, to live next to it and why it's allowed to to have tiny house in this place I think it's because it's only 10 years so it's only a permit for temporary in the first place um, so and as long we prove to be good for the original destination, um, it's possible. We still have to do on safety um, procedures, of course. The ambulance has to be able to get here mm -hmm. and uh, all the yeah. safety procedures we have to follow. We bought this land a few months ago and uh, we're asking a permission to build 11 tiny houses here. Next to two communal buildings, um, one for, I'd say, celebrating your birthday. Um, because a tiny home has everything uh, in the basics, but it's nice to have another place where uh, there's a little more space to work and uh, meet each other. 
and uh, a second communal building would be used for washing, uh, laundry and uh, storage of uh, bicycles, of course, and tools and things like that. It's all the, the land here above for the, yeah, it goes, for the uh, project. Through the forest. Yeah. So it's uh, water there and uh, water on the back. We had a lot of people um, yeah, coming in and they say, I dream of and I want to uh, have that. But yeah, they really need to be on the point where they can sell their house, they can stop their rent and start building. And uh, they have to be daring to take the step with us because we're setting it up. Um, I also I already have a tiny house, so for me it's not that big of a step. Um, but someone has to be on the point of their life where they can and will be moving here. Yeah. Now we're, um, we're still not in the final process of having the, the group because we're just setting it up in the basic and once we have everything done uh, we will be applying for, uh, for people. We don't want to be self-sufficient, we want to be a part of. Um, obviously we are trying to do it as minimalistic as possible um, with less stuff and also less uh, appliances. Uh, but we are still part of this neighborhood. So I would really love to see some uh, combinations or like uh, working together with the neighborhood next to here. We wanted to build a, um, a playground here for children because that's something that's lacking in the neighborhood. And uh, the first question they ask, like, what is it bringing me? Well, let's see, let's find out what can we do together? Uh, what is something that we can both have um, positive influence of? and also the recycling of uh, green material. We want to do composting here and use it for a big uh, communal garden. So this whole uh, football field will be used as uh, communal gardens. And uh, the, um, yeah, what we get from it will also be given to the, the people that live next to here. I think Kutadijk is unique because uh, other tiny house projects uh, have been renting uh, their uh, place from the, count the county or the municipality. Um, and we bought the land f ourselves, um, which makes it easier to, um, yeah, to set rules for the tiny houses ourselves. So the municipality will still have safety legislation, um, but we have the uh, commitment to go after 10 years, we want to continue. And that's easier if you have your own land. So we have one spot here for a tiny house to uh, stay. Perfect. Yeah, and you don't uh, want to uh, remove uh, trees, so... No, yeah. only if necessary. So the tiny house will be all around the, the terrain? Yeah. It's really into the forest. It is, right? Wow. And then here is another spot where a tiny house will be placed. Of course, there needs to be removed some shrubs yeah, before yeah, yeah, yeah. someone can uh, go in there but there's one there and one here and it's cool because you have you have come like two space like uh, an open space for garden for activity with um, maybe neighborhood like you said yeah and, and another place to just forest and just keep quiet yeah really for silence a place like this is um, I think the perfect example of living in between the trees. I don't know if you can see it, but I could see myself living here, that's for sure.